What's going on guys? Recently I travelled to Germany to hang out with the 3 times French champion Simon Gauzy. Now in this video I do some training with Simon, he shows me how he does some of his insane trickery shots and we take a look at his new racket setup including the new blade he is using, the Andro Sinteliak VCI. Now Andro have recently released a new blade line, the Sinteliak. Now Simon uses the VCI version which is a 7 ply inner carbon blade which has 2 layers of outer wood followed by the carbon layer. Now we both use the Rosanta C53 rubbers on both sides of our blade. Let's get into it. So guys, in my last meetup with Simon, which was just around three years ago now, he hit some outrageous creative shots. Three years on, he didn't disappoint. Yes! Around the net! <laughs> <Yeah. Nope. laughs> nice. You remember this shot you did to me last time? This one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I pushed it under the table. <laughs> <laughs> it went under the table! I will try again today, I will try yeah, yeah. I'm not sure. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> with the C53, what I find interesting with it, even though it's tacky, it's still very fast. And I yeah. think with this blade, it's going i mean even in this direction because before when i played with the the wood blade i had an incredible feeling in my hand but there was something missing the game is playing too fast right now i mean i need to i need to have something else but when i tried with my wood blade the sticky rubbers the c53 i felt it was really slow and now was it's a really good combination this is way faster than than the wood blade obviously it's a carbon one but also i mean it's a good combination with with these rubbers because otherwise it would be too slow if I play with the wood blade before. Oh. So yeah, like Simon is saying, he was one of the only oh. top pro players left really using an all wood blade. And with these new tacky hybrid rubbers, it doesn't really give them enough speed. The Sinteliak VCI is a good bridge between a carbon and a wood blade. Oh yeah, good. Now the reason the Sinteliak VCI isn't so fast is due to the two layers of outer wood dampening the carbon layer, which helps with the control and feeling as the ball does not come off too quickly. Very good. You can really accelerate fast though, right? Yeah. Early. Yeah. I think, in my opinion, when you're a little bit further, it's not that easy. Yeah. You need to put a lot of... You have to work harder. A lot, a, lot, a lot of body inside the ball. Yeah. When you're close though, yeah. It's yeah, good. you can really yeah. Yeah, go into it. Wow, very good, nice. really good. <laughs> nice, no! control. nice control. Yeah. Man. Yeah, so a big advantage with this blade as a whole is its control. It's not too fast, so the blocking and countering and passive shots at the table, it felt great. Got it. Okay, shooting gallery. Come on. <laughs> Oh my oh. god! Nice one then, bravo. Come on! <laughs> when I changed from my wood blade to this one, yeah. I had a lot of pain in my, in my oh, shoulder really? at yeah. first. What, going from the wood to this one? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, yeah the wood one was lighter, this was yeah, quite light. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But then after, I felt much better. I'm a natural feeling player, let's say. Yeah. I love the feeling I had in my hand. Yeah. I like this one actually. Yeah, uh, it's a good feeling. I like this one a lot. Yeah. But I prefer, if I had to choose the feeling in yeah, my hand, I would prefer the wood one. But uh, after all, I know this is the one that will uh, help me go yeah. higher again.
Good. On your second frame, try to hesitate a, a bit less. Yeah. Just not be, don't be afraid to miss the ball. Okay. Just go forward. Okay. Try to play okay. really strong. Yeah, much better. Okay. Yeah. Because I feel like you're waiting that the ball comes to you. Yeah. And you're not going at all towards the ball. Okay. And that's what makes you hesitate because you're further and further from the ball. You don't know which pin is coming to you. The mm -hmm. ball is going down and. All right, good tip. Yeah. Just go for it. Okay. Yes! Oh, bravo. Coach Gauzy. <laughs> What I find interesting with the C5 freeze, I thought a lot of players would just use it on the forehand, but not many using it on the backhand as well. These yeah. tacky rubber both sides. Yeah. I mean, before, like you said, before, like players were only using it foreign. Now we can see many players around the world playing, even Chinese playing two Chinese rubbers foreign backhand. After first attack from the opening in backhand, we're just blocking. Yeah, and that hold. Yeah. Now we don't see any blocks anymore. I yeah. mean, everybody's counter topspin even in backhand directly. They are. Sure. Probably sometimes less rallies. It's also because the players are so good that you cannot afford just to give an, uh, an empty ball to the opponent. Oh my god! Nice. This was good. Nice. Come on! Double hand that as well. <laughs> more control. This doesn't make no sense to me. Do you really get more control? I do. I, <laughs> no, nobody believes me. If How I was like more? this. Yeah. Yeah, you um, don't have much like force. No, and really control because that way I can, I know my, my hand will not go yeah, somewhere else. Keep stable. Yeah, but it was a good shot. I'm happy. Come on. <laughs> So there we go guys, a big shout out to Simon Gauzy for his time. It's always a pleasure taking him on. He is the wizard of table tennis. Sorry Dane. So let's dive straight into the TTD Blade ratings and see how the Sinteliac BCI stacks up. So first off we've got speed at 8.2. It's not as fast as an outer carbon blade, but still quick enough to play fast attacking shots. Now this gives a high control rating, which helps playing the spin based shots that Simon is famous for. All in all, it's a very balanced carbon blade, and I feel this blade range from Andro also has a higher build quality than the previous Andro blades I've used before. Perhaps this is down to the blade series being handcrafted in Korea, which Andro have highlighted in their packaging. Now this blade is for all round attacking players, also maybe for those who have switched to a hybrid rubbers who can't get enough power with a wood blade anymore, like Simon pointed out. Now if you're a player who relies on speed from your blade, you'll prefer the VCO version of this series as it's an outer carbon blade. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. Be sure to like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Oh! oh that's class! <laughs>